everybody. We just did our morning routine, which you saw in last week's video in the gym. We're now in the boardroom. Look at all these colors. Um, and we're gonna go surf. Waves look pretty fun, small but fun. Um, and I'm debating on what I should take. We got yellow, pink, blue, orange, Tom. I might just go plain white or, I don't know, it's between these three. All right, we're gonna let up the bike and head down for a surf. Let's go. guys um i did a q a on my instagram asking for some questions that you guys wanted answered i answered a bunch on my instagram today and then i said that i'd answer a lot more because i couldn't get to all of them uh on the youtube channels but you guys might find it interesting molly's just flooded my my feed with a bunch of her questions which is really funny look at this pretty much all her one from at Molly Picklum. What is the ideal date night look like? Tommy, you better be listening with an ear emoji. For me, my ideal date night, watching the sunset on the beach with some sort of beverage, a margarita. I'm not drinking for a year right now. Either a really good sushi or like Nick's in San Clemente and have a nice movie night. This is from Cloudy Me Off. Uh, are you ever scared or were you scared when you started to surf bigger waves? That's a really good question. I am scared all the time. Um, pipe, I'm generally always scared. Um, sunset, I'm scared often. Chopu, I'm definitely scared a lot. Um, um, I think over time I've really learned just to how to work through the fear and just how to be calculated. I, sometimes also, you know, if you're competing, it's like if you're ever gonna push yourself or be uncomfortable, that's probably the best time to do it because we have the best water safety in the world right there. There's certain breathing exercises you can do, some visualization I've found to be really, really helpful for me um, to kind of work through that fear and push through it. But yes, I am scared. Favorite exercise to do other than surfing from Opicos. So I've obviously noted a lot of stuff on this channel recently about my training and what I kind of do. So if you guys watch regularly, um, you'll know what I'm mostly up to. I've mentioned I really have been loving Pilates for my back. That's been a game changer. I feel the best I've ever felt when I'm consistent in my Pilates. Okay, most guys might not want to hear this, but um, I don't really care. Do you have to adapt to your training while having PMS or your periods? It's something every girl goes through. So I kind of, you know, obviously you gotta listen to your body and 
know your body and I think just being in tune with your body as a male or a female. I get really um, a lot more back pain around that time of the month usually, so I know that and naturally leading into that, I will be a little bit more cautious about my back, about my routine. I'll do a little bit more mobility. I'll get more treatments uh, from Tom and make sure that my body's feeling better and I'm just giving it extra attention. Noah Thompson, what are your biggest goals for the upcoming year? Competitively in surfing for me, I mean, obviously the goal is always to try and win that world title. Um, be in the top five and get to experience that. You know, obviously at home being at lowers, it would be pretty special for me. I really want to, I guess, feel like I put in 100% effort, which I, I, I usually always feel like that, but while simultaneously having really great balance and a ton of fun. And I think that's the thing that's the hardest to do when you're a competitive athlete is trying to find the balance of fun and work ethic and I think I often have the work ethic but I don't balance it with the fun enough so um, it'd be great to kind of find that flow this year I think that'd be a win and a great goal to achieve giving you my goal but that's kind of the goal is to have the balance of fun and work ethic locked in the whole way through uh, this is from at Victoria Larini how to keep it positive when talking about progression and surfing I mean, I think you just have to keep it in perspective when you're trying new things. I'm actually not very good at this. I'm really hard on myself. So if I'm trying a new thing or to learn a new thing, uh, I will often get really annoyed if I can't get it within the first few tries, which is completely unrealistic when you really think about it. Um, so I think being kind to yourself and the main thing is just to keep trying and show up. Like just, you gotta start somewhere and just keep keep plugging away really and don't let the frustration of failing even though you're not failing in the end it'll be a success um get you down from molly do you feel like you can surf freely in a bikini that's one she knows it's for the girlfriends out there surfing in a bikini is pretty unrealistic um unless i'm longboarding at waikiki even then something's gonna pop out so yeah, I, I usually either have a top on, even if it's warm water, or I'll have a small spring suit, something like that, just to keep everything locked in. Because a bikini is really, as cute as it looks, and I love to wear a bikini, it's not, no, it ain't happening. You're thinking too much about everything going on and not surfing. What are you more hyped to do? Barrels, carves, or airs? Depends, Molly. Molly gets me psyched on doing airs a lot because she's pretty nuts at them. So she always is trying to get me to do them. Uh, so sometimes I'm most psyched on that, but I think I'm more the most pumped if I get barreled. Has sponsorship come easy to you your whole career or have you had to hustle at times? I've had to hustle. I'm really uh, aware of my sponsorship deals. I've always have been since a little girl. Like I, I work really closely with my management and I know um, everything in my deals. I know when they're up, I know the structure of them. So I've always been really on it with the deliverables that I have to do for brands, the brands that I work with. I wanna make sure my values align and and also going and getting them because you do, sometimes brands will come to you, obviously that's the best case scenario, but a lot of times I've gone to brands and just, just pitch myself. So I've had to hustle at times for sure. That being said, I think my timing of my career in the industry was really good. I feel like surfing and the industry and endemic and non-endemic brands have been interested. The last 12 years I've been professionally surfing. Right now is a pretty tricky time if I was just getting into it. Um, so a few stars have definitely aligned, but I would say I work pretty hard at it. Pacha Light, hey my girl, thanks for asking. What is your filming and editing YouTube process? How do you stay motivated to share your life? Um, honestly, Tom edits everything, so I don't need to do any of that. Um, he is just a high creative person. Tom can really like, he's one of those people that can kind of do anything he wants to learn, he'll figure it out. Uh, I think the filming is usually not really a burden. At times it can be. Um, if I'm competing, Tom will film a lot more 
And then when I'm home, like I'll do a lot more of this sort of selfie style thing. How's the podcast with Molly Picklum going from at Eaton Smallville? Um, the podcast we've recorded two episodes. Uh, we have a lot of work to do. I don't know if we're gonna release those, so bear with us. If you guys really would want to hear a podcast from me and Mall, just you know, like this video or leave more comments. Where's your favorite place to surf? From at Connor underscore Jerlin. I I love surfing where I grew up in Santa Barbara at home. I love South Africa more than anywhere, as a lot of you guys probably know at this point. Uh, J Bay in terms of a wave is probably my favorite. So. Yeah, I'll say J Bay. It's just a great right hand point break. I'm at Chris Russell Athlete. The tour is so competitive. What will you do to give yourself the best shot at final five? That's really true and valid. It is so competitive and it's the hardest it's ever been to stay on tour, especially with that cut. Like there's a lot of things. Um, the best that I can do to give myself a shot at that is tick every box in my head. So I'm gonna be the fittest that I can be, the happiest that I can be, make sure my boards are perfect. I'm gonna go to Hawaii next week, start practicing. I'm gonna do a little 12 day training camp, come home, go back. So I think um, the best answer to that is just preparation. I'm gonna prepare as much as I can with the things that are in my control and kind of let go of the rest because wearing doesn't do anything good for you. From Georgie underscore Smith underscore. Is it difficult traveling so much? That is actually a great question because it is. I don't want to sound like a spoiled brat because surfing's amazing. I have the best job in the world. I get it. But I don't think people realize the amount of travel we do throughout the whole year, how far we're going. I'm not flying first class. Sometimes business class if I am really lucky and get a free upgrade. Um, board bags, I usually have at least two plus our regular bag. Um, so yeah, it gets really tiring. It's a lot, I book everything. You miss a lot of things at home. I have a lot of friends and people in my life at my home and I'm not home for half of their birthdays or trips that they get to take or things they get to do. So. Um, you know, there is a lot of sacrifice that comes with it and the traveling part, it takes its toll. As awesome as it is, and I wouldn't change it for the world, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't hard. Okay guys, hope that was fun for you to listen to. Um, I sure had fun doing it. So if you'd like to do more of these, let us know in the comments and I'm happy to answer more questions. We're going to Hawaii on Friday for a training camp. So next week will be tons of action of me surfing over there with Molly and Glenn and the crew. Tune in.